Lucy. This is a name that is considerably cliche in terms of writing a story, such as Emma or Anna. They are all common names. Yet to me, Lucy is the name that sparks memories of a large part of how I learned to read and write. Lucy was a character that I had created, the character that I wrote about during my childhood. Writing books was something I loved to do, as well as I loved to show them off. Now that I look back on it, it is quite embarrassing to think of the way I would bring all of my small journals everywhere and ask everyone to let me read my stories to them. These were not long novels at all, nor were they typed. These books, as I like to call them, were more like short stories, handwritten and in small journals. Each of them took up about 30 pages of my diary because the pages were small and my handwriting was quite messy and large, which is common for a first or second grader. I would say they were probably equivalent to about five or six pages typed. I remember begging my parents to take me to Borders as soon as I filled up each blank journal. In total, I wrote 15 stories about Lucy and her adventures as a third grader. These stories were far from in-depth. I recently found some and read them, and they were actually quite stupid and had terrible storylines. But at the time, I loved them. I would read them a thousand times over just because they were mine. They were my work. I think that is why there ended up to be 15 of them. There was so much motivation to write back then. I loved writing, but I loved the way my parents were so proud every time I finished a story. Despite all the grammatical errors, they were probably thinking, Our daughter is so far ahead of her age group, she's going to be a famous author one day. This is a great example of what I like to call parent goggles. My stories were not very good at all. But as I grew older and realized my Lucy stage was short-lived, I came to appreciate the time when I was so excited to write, and even to have the motivation to write without being assigned to do so by my teachers was something I noticed that I had grown out of. I try to look back at my childhood and think about what gave me the spark to start writing short stories, but I cannot remember. It could have been seeing pictures of Hilary Duff as Lizzie McGuire writing in her diary on the Disney Channel sitcom, but I don't know for sure. And I have recently been looking for the same spark that I miss so much. I miss the delicate imagination that boosted my writing, and the way I would draw pictures with the same set of Crayolas to illustrate my works. But most of all, I miss the times when I would sit in my room alone, relaxing, and I would pick up a pen and calmly write to simply pass time.